Hi. For the last couple of vlogs, we've been talking about goldenrod and how it offers nectar to insects for quick energy. Today we want to talk about the other resource it offers. It's called pollen. The goldenrod plant produces a nutrient-rich product we call pollen. It's known for its healing properties, for its rich nourishment, for how it protects health. Many types of insects feast on this pollen. Even though the nectar we talked about in the previous vlog provides a quick energy boost, the pollen is a rich source of protein, fats, and minerals. Some of the insects, like honeybees, take it back to their hives, where it's shared with the rest of the colony and used to help raise the next generation. Honeybees gather the pollen and attach it to their hind legs like saddlebags. The pollen is the red lump on the bee's leg. There are a couple things about pollen that I'd like to share. First, like Barb mentioned before, it's packed with rich nutrients that help sustain health. Second, it's sticky. Look at this picture from an electron microscope. This is a photo of two pollen grains. I don't know what kind of pollen this is, so it's probably not goldenrod, but I wanted to explain what I mean by sticky. See all those little spikes with hooks on them? It's sort of like Velcro. As the bug moves around the flower, those little spikes and hooks get caught on the fuzzy hairs of a bee or the wings of a butterfly. God's word is like that pollen, a rich treasure trove full of spiritually nutritious nuggets. Jeremiah said, when your words came, I ate them. They were my joy and my heart's delight, for I bear your name, Lord God Almighty. Jeremiah 15, 16. God's word isn't meant to be simply read or heard. God wants us to eat it, be strengthened by it, and let it become a part of us. Even though God's word gives us life, he typically uses a human being to transmit that message from one person to another. The Holy Spirit helps make the message sticky. John chapter 14 says, But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. In the last vlog of this series, we'll talk about what all this means to us as Christian pollinators. Thanks for trekking with the foxes.